The city of Prague in the Czech Republic. This video highlights the major attractions of Prague. In the next nine minutes, we're going to visit the following sites. We'll begin with a visit to Stare Miesto, Prague's old town, home to the astronomical clock, which has been telling time since 1410. We'll then visit Bensusov Square, one of Prague's main squares, a traditional site for festivals and demonstrations. I'll discuss transportation in Prague, including Prague's excellent streetcar system, and we'll conclude this video by a visit to Karlov Most, Charles Bridge. A couple of other topics I've covered as separate videos, you can click any of them to watch, are Prague Castle, Czech food in Prague, and two great viewpoints, Petrine Tower and the TV Tower. Links are also in the description below and will reappear at the end of this video. We greet you and say hello, and in Czech we say Ehej! Dobry den, which is hello and good day. A big part of any tourist agenda in Prague is going to be in Stare Miesto, or the Prague Old Town. Prague 1, Praha Jedna in Czech. Uh, it's a great pedestrian area, there's lots of attractions, you can tell by all the tourists. Uh, there's an awesome place to just walk around, spend a good portion of the day. Some popular things to pick up as tourist attractions here are Bohemian Crystal, Russian Stacking Dolls, and Marionette Puppets. Puppets on a string. But we have something even better from America, and his name is Topher. Hello everybody, I'm not on the string. They like their puppets so much that at this puppet store, the door is actually a puppet. This is pretty cool. I feel like a big kid again. If I can just learn how to operate this puppet. And at the center of the old town is Staromieskie Namesti, which is this uh, old town square that is famous for the astronomical clock. Check it out every hour on the hour. It's pretty easy to find the astronomical clock because it's a really tall tower that has hundreds of people standing in front of it to watch the show. If there's a big crowd, you know you're in the right place. When the minute hand reaches the top, that's when the show begins. Below the astronomical dial, there are four statues which represent four of the things most hated at the time this clock was built. One of them is the skeleton, which is death, he rings the bell. And finally, when the show is complete, the rooster crows. This clock was built in the square in 1410 and has been standing here telling time ever since. The clock is a major In the middle of the square there is a memorial to Jan Hus who was burned in the 1400s for his religious beliefs, a significant figure in Czech history. In addition to Jan Hus, there are also some slightly less culturally significant statues like these guys who dress up in gold and silver paint and these guys that are some sort of gnomes that are sad that I'm not coming closer. You'll want to watch out for the sharks though. The Thai massage parlor in this building had a shark to advertise the nine euro massage. A good portion of the old town has been pedestrianized with walking only streets, but there are some other options. You can ride a horse carriage. You can do a hop on hop off bus. You can take the sightseeing train, but the best way to see the sights in the old town is to use your two just a couple blocks from the astronomical clock is the old Jewish town of Prague. Uh, unfortunately, they don't let you take any video or pictures inside, so come and see it in person if you're interested. Vincesov Square is a large, wide boulevard that's uh, great to walk on, and it is between the old town of Prague and the National Museum. And it's commemorated by a big statue on a horse of King Venceslav. At the top of Vincesov Square, there is a cross in the ground commemorating two Jans who burned themselves in 1969 to protest for freedom from communism. Since the fall of communism, the Czechs have done a really good job beautifying and prettying up a lot of their old historic buildings, but that's not to say that everything has been beautified or restored. Many people, when they think of the Czech Republic, think of the old Soviet bloc nation of Czechoslovakia with depressing architecture and depressing buildings. Well, good news for you, because some of it is still here. As my favorite quote from my movie Eurotrip says, it is good you come in summer, because in winter it can be quite depressing. They have quite a bit of graffiti, but the streets are very clean. They have teams of people that walk around with these giant vacuums sucking up all the trash. Just a couple blocks off in Sussov Square, if you're tired of all those cultural museums, you can stop by and check out the Museum of Communism. Where? Here. After a visit to the Museum of Communism, you can check out the Czech original Black Light Theater to see a performance of 
the yellow submarine. So now's a good time to talk about transportation options other than your feet. Prague has a very extensive streetcar trolley network, these trolleys that you see right here. Riding these streetcars is a great way to see the city as you travel to your destination, but it's not the fastest because the streetcars share the street with cars. For the fastest way of transportation, head on in to Prague's subway. Make sure to take the Prague subway. They have some of the fastest escalators in the world, the finest Russian built, and they're windy too. A good way to cool down. See ya! Whee! After riding these escalators, when you go back to your home country and ride your own escalators, you're going to be riding them going, oh, when's my escalator going to finish? The Prague subway operates on the honor system. Make sure to get a ticket and have it validated before you come on. Uh, I like the tourist tickets, which are all day tickets. They come in one, three, or five days. Uh, they're 310 krones. You can also get 30 or 90 minute tickets uh, for much cheaper. But if you're riding more than five times a day, the tourist ticket is well worth it. And with the tourist ticket, it's unlimited use of the subway and Prague streetcars. Streetcar number 22 will take you up to the top of the hill of Prague Castle. But the most scenic way of reaching Prague Castle is by crossing Charles Bridge and then walking up the hill. Prague Castle is just up there in the upper right. There are a number of different bridges that cross the river in Prague, but none that are more scenic than the Charles Bridge, Karlov Most. If you have to cross one bridge, let this one be the one you cross and gander at the amazing statue. The Charles Bridge was built in the year 1357 and was the only means of crossing the river until the 1800s. There are about 30 statues that line the bridge, and because this is a huge tourist attraction now, there are a large number of artists and performers that line the bridge along with the statues. There were a couple of unique bridge performers the day I was there. There was this guy giving a guitar concert with his marionette puppet, and then there was the five-piece bridge band. If you'd like to see more of the bridge band or the puppeteer, check out the separate video there in the upper right. The Charles Bridge is definitely a must-see sight while you're in Prague, but be prepared to battle the tourist throngs. To get away from the crowds on Charles Bridge and have a complete different perspective, you can climb up on top of the Lesser Town Bridge Tower, also known as the Malostranka Mosteka Vez. And I say that because it's written on the ticket that I bought to come up here. Uh, there's really great views of the river and the bridge. You can see all the people and the art vendors down here. Uh, and the best part about this is Nobody wants to pay to come up here, so you have it all to yourself. It's pretty cool. Another neat part about not many people being up here is there are all these neat little alcoves that you can come and hide out in and really, really savor the view. From the top of the tower, you can also get a pretty sweet view of Prague Castle and the red tiled roofs below. The red tiled roofs is something that's a signature of Prague, and any tower that you climb on in the old town or near the old town, you will see lots of red tiled roofs. A couple of blocks from the Charles Bridge is the Lennon Wall, a graffitied wall that is to commemorate the memory of John Lennon from the Beatles. Just down that way is the John Lennon Bar and Grill. Which has a really neat yellow submarine hallway. A block from the Lennon Wall is the Bridge of Locks. Lock a lock on it, your love will stay forever. If you can find a place to put it, that is. And so that concludes our travel guide from Prague in the Czech Republic. With that, we will bid you goodbye in Czech. Ahoy! Thanks for watching. Click here to subscribe.